I'm at a gypsy. Anyway, Sammy goes out, buys a 06 CR250. Thing is mint, dude. Like, he bought it and it was, <laughs> it was insane. And uh, so then, anyway, he did that. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll go get it. I want to get a steel frame Yamaha. So I drove eight hours and bought this piece of shit, like disgusting. <laughs> Why is that 250? And, uh, and then, anyway, so we, we posted that we got it. And then everyone was like, all right, well, can we do it too? Like if we get a bike, can we do the build as well? So we're like, all right, cool. So we called it the mid 2K build. And now we've got 75 <laughs> dudes building two strokes. So we had 75 no guys way. sign up. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're having That's a race. Sick. Yeah. It's turned into like, uh, we don't have two stroke nationals over here. So we're going to do the, we're going to do the two stroke nationals at like this dope track and like Regan Duffy's got a one, two, five, like Todd Waters is chasing bikes down. Like everybody is going to get like all the pros are going to get two strokes and do this nationals with us but man like the build thing it just like it just went off like people were just so pumped on it and i think perfect timing with COVID as well like obviously a bunch of people in victoria and stuff they had a crazy lockdown so they couldn't actually go ride so all they could really do was work on their bikes but yeah man we've had it's like all these guys come out of the woodwork to build these old two strokes and it was cool like Sick. your your 450 build was something that like really inspired me to do it because i saw how many people were stoked on what you were doing and i was like man we could we could definitely like do this as well <laughs> and you know people are going to be pumped on this yeah they love it that's like when i go when i was going to some of the supercross races this year to help with the announcing it was like everybody stopped me to talk about it like like when is your next build like what are you doing next like oh i love the l like what did you do like you know i had questions about it yeah. like like in the 250 two stroke like everyone loves that bike like so it's it's, it's yeah it's something like I, like what i said before originally when we started this it's like people just relate to it you know like and the two strokes too it's super relatable because you can find them relatively cheap yeah and customize them pretty easily like and that I, I always like when I bought mine, I, mine was a pile. Like I found it like three miles from my old house, like for like 2,400 bucks. Like it was, a that's beat. so sick. And, yeah. And like, it, I have a picture of it when I picked it up, it had like freestyle bars on it and like, it was so clapped out and, but that's like what I wanted, you know, cause yeah. I knew I was going to like frame it, go through everything customize everything the two strokes are a little harder because the parts are like you're taking old parts off and then you're like well i don't want to put this shitty old part back on like i'll yeah. put like something new back on it where you build a new bike it's a little easier because it's like a little more like okay take the swing arm off get it powder coated put the swing arm back on like like oh now i gotta find new bearings like all this other shit so but um it's definitely rewarding like the yeah. end result is so rewarding when after you finish like I don't know that like that's why I have my two stroke in my living room because I like I love it because <laughs> I don't want to ride it but I know once I'm better I'm going to want to take it out but I'm like it's so like perfect and every yeah. time I do ride it I like find a new scratch or like it's not as clean as it was <laughs> I'm like shit so I was like I'm gonna put it in my living room for now dude I, I'm in two minds like I've said the I've said the whole time I'm gonna have to just stick to it like I've said way too much but I'm going so fucking in on my 250. It is insane. <laughs> like, I'm going to actually try and do the raw frame look, like what your bike, uh, your 450 is. Oh, you, well, because steel frame. Yeah, yeah. Because, man, it looks so sick. Like, the way that you did it, I just, yeah. I, I love that look. And it's so, I mean, obviously, like, I'm copying your style on it, but not a lot of people have done it. And now, I, mean, I, I copied Beerman. Every time yeah, somebody brings enough. up, I'm like, I, I got to pay homage to Beerman. He's the first one that did it. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I'm like, I've, I've hand sanded my, my swing arm. I probably have, I reckon I probably have like 14 hours just in my swing arm. Like just hand Dude, sanding. With my two stroke, I, I mean, it was aluminum frame, but I same, like I had spent so much time scotch bright and like, soap and water scotch bright soap and water scotch bright like just getting every nook and cranny like trying to get yeah. that thing perfect 